Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Maki here. This is another video of my travels back home in the Philippines last golden week, end of April to beginning of May. The last episode was about our trip to Boracay where we stayed at different hotels. Check the past videos for more of those. In this episode, join me during my flight from Osaka to Manila, food discoveries in Quezon City, and my flight back to my home in Japan, as well as priority pass lounges that you can use in both airports. I'm really excited to share this with you, so let's go! I decided to take the train going to the airport. This time, I took the Haruka Express line from Kyoto to Kansai Airport. By reserving a day in advance, I was able to get around 800 yen discount one way. The Hiroka Express line has collaboration with Hello Kitty. So Hello Kitty fans out there, you might enjoy riding this train because there's a lot of Hello Kitty logos everywhere including the toilet. Despite being a travel season, there were plenty of seats available and it didn't seem that the train got full, so you don't have to worry about not getting a seat on this train going to the airport. I pre-booked this seat on the website. I prefer window seats to get better views of the trip to the airport. And as you can see, it's very clean and there's Hello Kitty waiting for me. As there was no entertainment on board, I decided to watch Netflix while occasionally looking outside to check on the views of Osaka and the rest of the trip. The guides are in Japanese, Korean, Chinese, and English, and there is voice announcement before every stop. The train ride is a little less than 2 hours. It is very convenient and always on time. It was a bon holiday, but I didn't expect this much people in the airport. I'm flying with AirAsia this time, and I arrived earlier than the check-in time. There are many perks with the premium flex package of AirAsia, from the baggage allowance to the very little weight at the check-in counter. Look at that queue. But even with the premium flex package, it's better to arrive early to avoid unexpected issues. My flight was around 2 p.m. The security check and immigration was really fast, and I was out in no time, after passing through duty-free of course. Let's check out the ANA lounge using my priority pass. During the pandemic, most of the airline lounges were closed, so I was glad that ANA has opened and allowed priority pass to use their lounge. And because there are few lounges for airlines here, most airlines share the lounge of ANA or JAL. I arrived around lunchtime, so the lounge was pretty full. There are several food offerings here such as breads, noodles, curry, rice, and some proteins, as well as drinks such as alcohol, beer, tea, coffee, juices, etc. There's also dessert which I really liked. For light snacks, you could just get the salad, some crackers, or the small sandwiches. One thing you shouldn't miss here is the ANA Signature Curry. I tried the curry, it was delicious but it's also quite salty so it goes really well with rice. By the time I was going to board my plane, the space became a little bit emptier. The staff constantly refilled the food so that you won't be hungry here. Obviously, I didn't get hungry here because I ate as much as I could before going on my plane. I also checked the toilet. It was clean and very well maintained. 
When I got back to my desk, they already refilled the sushi so I had to get some. There's inari, there's shiso, and there's something like, I don't know, fried rice? And if you have to recharge your gadgets here, there's plenty of power ports and even a USB port. The lounge was located near gate 15, so if your gate is quite far, you should leave early so that you won't miss your flight. And now it's time to board my flight, so let's go! Part of the premium flex package is that you get free priority boarding as well as free selection of seat. Of course I chose row 1 to the plane faster. Time for pushback and let's fly! I'm not sure if it was that cloudy or AirAsia's windows were just dirty. <laughs> Row 1 has plenty of leg room and there's a seat pocket in front of you for small things and literature. The premium flex package includes a meal but I also added an extra meal so that I won't get hungry during this flight. I always get the Uncle Chin's chicken rice with the vinegar sauce. And for my extra meal, I selected the vegetable bowl. Make sure you bring your own entertainment when flying Air Asia because they don't have one on the plane. We have started our descent to Manila and we're ready to land. I've been flying with Air Asia for quite a while and as you can see, the landing is pretty smooth and I didn't have any issues whatsoever. We are pleased to inform you that we have landed 11 minutes ahead of schedule. One of my favorite features of the Premium Flex package is that you get express baggage, which means that your baggage gets unloaded the first when your plane lands. Wala pa sila. It's a travel tip. You could cross the bridge going to the Belmont Hotel and there are plenty of taxis and grab cars waiting there without any lines. Okay, I'm out. And as for me, I had to wait for more than one hour for my family to pick me up because of miscommunication. This is here at home after forever. Kawaii, it's so cute. Our dog's so cute. It's so cute. We have a cat. Look. My sister's cat. What's this? What's this? What's this? <laughs> One day during my trip, I decided to meet some of my college friends for lunch in Quezon City. Hey guys, so I'm with Hello. my friends. I'm with Hi. your resident Hello. meteorologist, Ariel Rojas, and my friend Jess. My friend? Oh. <laughs> We're friends. They have a complimentary bread with olive oil and balsamic vinegar. I ordered the carbonara with egg on top and my friends ordered the tapas, risotto, and something else. The menu looks like a modern take on Italian food which was really nice, they were tasty and it's a nice place to hang out. For me it's a plus that they bake their own breads and also they have some cakes that I would like to try sometime. This place was awarded by Tatler Philippines and also got recognition from Japan food supporters for probably using Japanese products. After having lunch, we decided to go to Wildflower restaurant nearby for some dessert and because our friend Jelly is coming. I really like the interior of Wildflower Restaurant because of the high ceilings, the wooden panel design, and also some plants is spread across the space. The cakes are priced a bit high but this is a nice place so you're paying for the space as well. My favorite cake that they have is the Tres Leches cake but we also try the salted egg cheesecake. Hi, say hi. Aside from the food, the bread, pastries, and cakes that they bake in house are really worth something to go for. It is very difficult to find artisanal breads in Manila, so wild flour is a very good place to get them. 
After having dessert and coffee, we decided to go to our alma mater, UP Diliman. May party sa bahay, and yung mga relatives namin. Dying food. One of the best things that you could describe my mom is that she's a very, very good cook. This day, she decided to cook lunch for our relatives before I fly home to Japan. And she even cooked my favorite karikare, among other things. Ano next? Ano next natin? Ito na talaga sa kanya dito. Ay, mami, thank you. Ang taba, oh. Ang taba. Baan mo pahit pahit ito na kote yan? Ito sa gitpahit. Sa mga kailangan, may bibili sila ng lamps. Three S lamps. Init. This is where my parents go to for their lighting needs for some of their projects. I actually wanted to bring some back to Japan for some of my lights. But they're not compatible. Where your Starbucks at Kaloocan, Kaloocan City Hall Starbucks. The Starbucks in Manila is very casual. You can wear tank top and shorts, just like in your own house. And with that, my vacation came to an end. Love you. 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 Good morning! I'm here at the airport, Terminal 3, flying back to Japan. So sleepy, it feels so early. I arrived three hours before my flight, which was a good time because there was no line. And because I have premium flex package, I have priority check-in. However, an early flight means that the line at the immigration is very long compared to if it was a flight at a later time in the day. I didn't have breakfast before going to the airport, so I decided to go to the lounge to take a shower as well as have a meal. Pag SS Lounge allows Priority Pass users to use the facility. For those who don't have Priority Pass, you can pay a certain fee to use the facility as well. One thing I liked about this lounge was that the toilet and the shower facilities were very clean and well maintained. Also, they provide you with clean towels and there was a hair dryer to dry my very long hair. Some of the food on the selection include cereals, breads, sandwiches, pasta, porridge, Chinese dim sum, and some finger salads. There was also ice cream and a lot of beverage options. I decided to have some arroz caldo or chicken porridge while watching some planes pass by. I decided to get some dim sum after the porridge because I was still hungry. I was thrilled to find out that this time they're serving make your own halo halo here at this lounge. The last time I was here they didn't have this feature. I prefer my halo halo to be very simple with just milk, dacha flan, some gulaman, and bananas. I was still hungry so I decided to get some gyudon and some of the tasty dim sum earlier. And it's time to go to our gate to board the plane. So good so from the lounge, now I'm going to school with another neighbor. A big one. As a pasalubong, I decided to get some puto or steamed rice cakes at the kiosk near my gate before boarding. And it's time to fly back to Japan. After pushback, there seemed to be a delay with the takeoff because there was a long line of airplanes after us. I like getting a window seat because I enjoy the views outside as the plane passes different views of nature from the high vantage point. How about you? Tell me in the comment section. For my in-flight meal, I decided to get the beef tapa with scrambled egg and rice, as well as the vegetable rice bowl which I got from my flight from Kansai to Manila. We have started our descent to Kansai International Airport and you can see the airport from afar. 
I was able to catch a glimpse of the Kansai Bampak 2025 from my seat. Arrived, back to reality and back to Kyoto. I hope you liked this part of my vacation during the Golden Week in Manila. See you in more travel, food, and hotel videos soon. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!